robotic safety in the workplace. Robotics is becoming increasingly prevalent in the workplace. According to the Robotic Industries Association, a trade union that endorses automation and robotics, what was once a staple for a long time in the automotive industry, have now gradually moved into several other sectors like rubber and plastic, food and consumer goods, electronics, and life sciences. For instance, the World Robotics Industrial Robots Report of the International Federation of Robotics found that just about 293 thousand industrial robots were working in factories throughout the United States in 2020. The report found that new robotic sales were going strong and stood on par with the 33,000 units that were shipped in 2019. According to the IFR, robot density, which is a measurement of the number of robots for every 10,000 employees in an industry, was 229 in the U.S. in 2019. This number is 28% more than China's robot density, which is 187 robots for every 10,000 workers, but only a fraction of what it is in South Korea, or 855 robots for every 10,000 workers. When humans work collaboratively with machines, human safety is of the utmost importance. Occupational safety experts must be well aware of the dangers and safety protocols needed to ensure the safety of all workers. Getting a bachelor's degree in work-related safety can be a great step towards any of several occupational safety and health careers, including becoming a leader in a workplace setting that uses robotics. What are robots in the workplace? According to U.S. Department of Labor OSHA, industrial robots are programmable multifunctional automatic devices used to move tools, parts, materials, or specialized devices via varying programmed motions to carry out several tasks. Robots carry out hazardous, unsafe, unpleasant, and highly repetitive tasks. As per the Health Plus Safety magazine, some robots are more likely to be observed in professional environments, including professional service robots, where the robot carries our commercial tasks outside of industrial applications, such as delivery, surgery, cleaning, or firefighting, an industrial robot, an automatically controlled and programmable robot that can be either mobile or fixed, and is typically used in applications like assembly and packaging, manufacturing and inspection, a collaborative robot that is a highly complex robot and is specially designed to carry out tasks with humans or mobile robots, robots that can travel under its their control, for instance, in military settings or in a warehouse. Mishaps with robots mostly tend to occur when the employees are not where they usually are, typically performing the required testing, maintenance, or programming. Robots are seldom sophisticated enough to know when a person is close by. The best safety approach is staying away from any robot conducting scheduled tasks or is in motion, as per the Director of Standards Development of the RIA, Carol Franklin. To be exposed to a robot's hazards, a person has to approach them. So far, we've only been dealing with robots that are fixed in place. OSHA lacks robot-specific guidance. Despite how long robots have existed and been operational in the workplace, OSHA does not have any particular standards set for robotics. This lack of safety guidelines for manufacturers might seem strange, but it is probably due to a lack of need. While industrial robots are quite noticeable, serious robotic-related incidents still stand at a minimum and are relatively rare. At the most, there are just four to five cases of robot-related accidents in the records of the agency, which go back to 1984. Without a significant record proving the dangers of robotics, there is little need to implement specific standards over robots. Former additions to OSHA rules and regulations have led to many significant workplace safety occurrences. For instance, one of the most critical sets of regulation additions of OSHA followed a series of chemical-related disasters that killed hundreds and thousands of workers. No such safety event has ever taken place with robots. Another significant reason why OSHA has a lack of robot-specific regulations is that they might be redundant. Many current machine guidelines can also apply to industrial robots. If you are looking to integrate robotics and other automation solutions into your production, contact B2E Automation today. We can work with you to develop a custom solution that works best for you.